Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So this is actually a bit of a different video today because uh, I sort of just decided to do this like on the spot. So I'm literally recording like now, I don't know if it, uh, this probably doesn't make sense, but basically I've just put out a tweet a couple hours ago saying, uh, what do you complete from the quest line before 2019? Because I haven't watched it, but I did see uh, a recommended video from A1 Get This Money where he had a boss in the thumbnail and... Uh, I haven't heard anything about it, I don't want to, I literally want to grind it out and see like what's going down and also I have heard that you get something, you get like a pin or something, uh, you get a Storm King pin mailed to my your address if you complete the campaign before 2019 or befen before the end of the year so um, today I'm going to work on busting out a bunch of quests, uh, let me just move this all to the side. So I'm currently on page 9 out of 19 on Candy Valley, so I've got absolutely tons to do. Look at this, look at this monstrosity. Oh my goodness. How is one man meant to cope with so many quests? I'll tell you how. So, I'm chilling out. I've got uh, my RuneScape account here on the side. I'm just training some range up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Got to be efficient, getting some gains on the side. And uh, what I'm going to do for this video is I'm pretty much just going to bang out these quests. And once I get to the end of each quest, I'll put the rewards in the video. Um, it won't be like gameplay. It basically, I don't really know what it's going to be. It's just like a highlight video of me getting through all these missions. And uh, it will be followed by, hopefully, this boss mission. So, uh, yeah, we'll see about that. So, I'm going to jump into some missions whilst killing some sand crabs on RuneScape. And, yeah, I'll be back in uh, a moment. All right, so we're closing in on the... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought I had a phase shift, but apparently not. So, uh, this is gonna be the la- oh, for goodness sake. This is what happens when you make a man grind out quests for a whole day who isn't much of a quest grinder. Unless it's on RuneScape, I'll definitely do it if it's on RuneScape. But here we go, this is gonna be the last stage coach. Seven coaches found, so that's that mission complete. I will, uh, get back to you with the next mission. Okay, so this is, uh, me finishing the mission that I got the- Chariot things, mission completed, so you can see the rewards as well. Joel's pub. Didn't even realize, I actually was just thinking a minute ago that I don't have the mythic survivors from the pub mission, and I thought that I missed it. And surprisingly, I should have actually reacted a lot more then, but I was just, because I thought I, I didn't really catch on, but that's the pub one, I didn't realize. So actually, that's quite good for me, because I don't have the mythic survivors yet, so they can really boost up my uh, power level if I level them up. And Killer Storms, and this should be the quest one, so 17. There we go, 60,000 Survivor XP, I believe. That was the previous one, 17. And now we're doing Ray on the rooftop. So we're going to have to go and retrieve listing devices in the Ghost Town or Thunder Root. Okay, that's quite good. So uh, obviously I'm doing everything in this uh, this area. You know, um, you know that Twine Peaks area? I think you might have heard of it before. So uh, I didn't realize, but if you look at the top left, uh, just below my level, where it says time remaining and then fight the category, just under that it says like the mission area. I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that you could find which one was which. So as you can see here, this one says Ghost Town. This one says Thunder Root. So my objectives will be in both of these missions. Uh, the Cat 2 seems to be the fastest one at the moment for me uh, in the Ghost Town area. So um, I could do these level 76 ones actually. Or this one here. I think I might do this one because it's level 76 and it has three atlases that's quite easy for me whilst I'm playing with an outlander just level 76 in general as you can level 117 and when I get boosted with everyone else we're gonna slay so uh, I'm gonna work on this mission and I will come back to you once we grab the last piece and some rewards all right so I've got my boy Jay Wonder and he's gonna help me do some missions but as you can expect Fortnite is giving me hassle and uh, yeah, it's locked all my missions, so we're gonna have to work this out. If this, if this could be fixed soon, epic, that would be great. You know, I'm trying to grind out all these quests, and uh, this this quest that I'm currently doing is honestly just the most painful thing in the world. I'm gonna show you what it is when I get into a mission, but I'm gonna try and sort out getting Jay Wonder in here. So um, let me get out. No, he needs to come back. Look what you're doing. Look. You know what Epic are doing? They're making sure I have absolutely no friends. So once there are raids and stuff like that, you know, I just literally can't play. <laughs> I'm glad they'll be like, I can't play with you, Aiden. We just can't search for games. I'm going to be like, no, please. Look at this. Oh, it worked. It's worked. It worked this time. Right, sweet. Going to get into a mission and then we'll come back to you. 
Okay, so I just wanted to show this quest. Uh, basically, I have to destroy these phone poles, right? And get recording devices. And I need to get 15. Now, I smashed about 9 of these in my last game. And I got given, like, 3. Which, my god, that is just infuriating. Because, uh, look at it. I need 15 of these. And look at the drop rate. Oh my god, the drop rate is horrible. They're going to make me do at least five missions just to get this one quest done. And that's what I don't like about the missions on this game, so I never bother with them. You get stuff like this, and it's just like, oh. I have to sit here completing low-level missions just to speed it up, because the missions are so long-gated for, like, no reason. It's just me complaining about grinding quests. <laughs> but as you can, I mean, look at this. How many have I just destroyed with only getting one? You see what I mean? I got three after destroying so many. And this is going to happen every single game until I get 15. So I'm really not looking forward to completing this mission. Um, it's currently 10 to 4 p.m. now. So uh, yeah, I will come back once I get to the uh, last last post that gives me this device. And we'll see how long it really did take. And also thank you, Jay Wonder, for giving me this sweet, sweet shovel. A lot of people have actually been giving me weapons whilst I've been <laughs> playing today. Um, I, got, I got, also got given a uh, last word, as you can see here, completely leveled up. I was given the uh, the Wraith, I was given a Pumpkin Launcher, and I've been using all of them. And they're actually quite good. <laughs> and I've also been making some gains on RuneScape. Um, let me drag this in for any RuneScape players. I'm currently talking to this, this new guy, I'm trying to give him some advice. But yeah, we're making some gains, you know, I'm just working on getting my range up. So, uh, yeah, right, I'll be back once we, um, oh, I better activate this. I'll be back once we get done with this mission, I guess, so I'll catch you in a bit. All right, so I started this mission, uh, Ray's listening device retrieved, whatever it is called mission, and uh, I'm about to be, oh my god, I actually got it. Here we go. Okay, so, I think I started that mission at 10 to 4. I believe and uh, it's half five so um, that took me a long time I was really not happy with this mission because what would happen is um, I was destroying these poles and uh, they're meant to give you a drop like that device you just saw and uh, oh would you look at that look I'll just drag this in here since we're doing this as well I've just got 63 range or recently so that's pretty interesting just need 64 for the dragon crossbow but um, yeah, I kept destroying these. There's probably around 20 per map, maybe 25. But I was only getting like one radio piece per like every... Oh god, I don't know. Like one in every 10. It was horrible. This is like my 6th or 7th game, I believe. It's been a long one, but that mission's finally done. I wanted to get it done before tonight. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of day 1. This is all going to be in one video, so you won't really know. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of day one. I'll show the re rewards for this mission at the end, and then I will, I'll talk to you there. I'll <laughs> catch you in a second. Okay, so I actually forgot to uh, show the reward for the Ray on the Rooftop mission, which took approximately about an hour and 40 minutes overall to complete. So it did take a while, and it was a bit of a grinding mission, but hey, it's out of the way now. And I've been told it's one of the worst, if not the worst mission on this route, because of just how long and annoying it is. And uh, our next mission is Midnight Oil, where I have to retrieve all lanterns from the Ghost Zone. But I've been playing for about five hours so i'm gonna take a break for today and i will be back tomorrow so uh, i'll catch you in a memento all right so it's the next day and i've got on a bit late so i can't do too much but we are going to be starting off with midnight oil i have to retrieve some oil lanterns in a 56 58 plus ghost town zone so that should be proper easy it should be just two quick missions so let's go take a look at the actual you know missions uh, areas that we have so ghost town what do we, we have a two atlas Ooh, why can't that one atlas be there be even faster well i'm gonna go and bang out this quest then let's just make sure i'm all on uh, public sweet i will jump into this and i will come back uh during the end of the objective so uh yeah i'll see you in a bit oh let's uh, let us not forget runescape players i'm currently splashing on um uh, spiders because I just need to train up my magic a little bit so yeah that's currently what I'm doing today whilst I play the missions just because I know there are a couple of runescape players among the uh, people that watch my videos so they're just a little bit interested and look what I've stumbled across I've got I've stumbled across the gnome general look at him he's got a staff he's standing on a skull and I can just imagine like all of the little gnomes standing down there like cheering on like yeah we're taking over or whatever they're doing uh, just for the sake of that, oh, get the hell out of here, god damn! 
if anyone's taken over, it's the husks. I will let the husks take over before um, the gnome does. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get back to searching for the oil cans. I currently found four, which is quite good because this is the first mission. So I've only got a couple more to find. So if I don't find them this mission, I will get back to you in another mission where we find the final one. Okay, so I'm in the second mission for the oil lanterns retrieved. So here's another one. They would like proper like miscellaneously placed I think that's the right word like just anywhere one of them was in like a tower luckily this uh, Tim guy has got the same mission so he might actually pick up the last one before I do because I did ask I, I said in the chat if anyone sees a lantern please mark it for me and then the geezer was like do you know what I've got the same quest so I'll just nab it anyway so that's sweet as so we're just going to be looking for the last two and then we can finish off the mission objective all right we've got another one back here apparently this is only going to count as one oil lamp. Apparently, I can't check these two because they're definitely invalid for whatever reason Fortnite's going to give me. But, uh, all right, we're looking for the last one now. So, one step away. Okay, so the last objective has been located. It's by that Timo guy as well. So, it looks like he's going to grab it for us. And that should be the mission set. Right, if he grabs it. Oh, no, it looks like I have to grab it as well. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Mission complete. Uh, I feel a little bit bad now because I have sort of not marked the ones that I grabbed. I assume they gave it to him. But uh, I'm going to quickly go back and then mark them and uh, finish off this mission. So I will get back to you once we are going over the rewards. What on earth is this that I've stumbled across? I know I should be defending over here, but it's like a level 88 mission. As you can see, my team is completely maxed. Also, the other guys you can see in the chat there finished off all of the uh, oil lanterns as well. So that's good. But yeah, what is this? If I can take a look, what is that? I thought it was meant it was like a riot shield that might have glitched out, and that I think that is what it looks like, like an energy riot shield. But uh, let me see if I destroy this. If anything happens, no. What if I collect the blue glow? Absolutely nothing. But apparently, if I stand in it, I teleport. Now that is crazy. What does this mean? Hmm. Oh, I'm in it. Oh my goodness, I'm in it. What if I? Oh, what's this? There is a smasher down. Oh, look, the. Oh, okay, look, there's a. Um, I wonder if we kill him if it gets rid of that. Oh, it does. Okay, so it was a glitched out uh, husk. All right, well, that makes sense. Not like a, just a random teleporter that got added into the game. But uh, I'm going to go and uh, defend. So let's just quickly head over here. Everything looks spick and spam. So I'm just going to, you know. The way I pretty much do these missions is it, it doesn't take much. You throw up a turret, you throw down your teddy, and then you just grab your Founder's Revolt. And what do you start doing? A little bit of work. But as you can see, I go to do some work on my team and eliminate the husks before I even get there. So yeah, I will actually come back now once this mission is finished and we can see the rewards for it. Alright, so we've just finished up on the Midnight Oil mission. We collected all the oil lanterns, so we all good there. Uh... Thank you to my team. They made that fairly easy. They banged that out quite quickly. That's quite a quick one, actually. It's just about to become 6 p.m., which means I can have a shower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Do you want to hear Aiden complain? I probably shouldn't have moaned on the mic. I was actually stretching my back. It just felt good because I got doms. And, uh, yeah, right, let's move on to the rewards. So, once I return to the home base, I will show you them. All right, here we go. So we've got level four loot, and there's a ton of loot up here. What is this madness? Getting some gold. I'm actually getting a lot of gold now that I'm doing quests. It's quite funny. Look, there's another bunch of gold. So there's midnight oil. So did that? Did that mission give me 200 reperk? Absolute, absolute madness. Forces of nature gonna give me 100 amp up. Okay, cool. Daily destroy. Okay, some V bucks because uh, V bucks is always welcomed. Daily coins don't really have too much of a purpose. And more amp up. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you very much. So the next mission we have on our agenda is a Different Lies, where we have to search outhouses for conspiracy theorists. I can't see because this conspiracy theorist looking guy is probably in the way. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I'm i going to be done today. It was I only done one mission because uh, I didn't get to start until late. So I'm not going to give you a depressing story how my life goes, <laughs> but uh, it's 6pm and I haven't had a shower since I've been back and uh, I've been back for a decent amount of time and I came back from the gym and I had to dismantle a bed and I had to sort out boxes because that's my life right now. It's pretty stressful uh, and you guys don't care. Oh, okay. Okay. 
If you do care, leave a like though. And if you don't care, also leave a like because ladies and gentlemen, you have to subscribe as well. So you have to hit the notifications bell next to the subscribe button to notify whenever I upload. And uh, yeah, I've actually decided that this is quite a comfortable like little recording thing, you know, to get me through the quests. I record these little highlight things. Let me know how the video was, people, because uh, I actually plan to do this all the way to the end. I'm gonna, and as you can tell by the title, it's called... If I went, okay, what am I going to call it? I think I was going to name it Road to 360 No Scoping the <laughs> the Storm King Pin or whatever the guy's name is. And it's just going to be highlight video parts until I get to that final mission. And I'm going to create a montage on the final boss battle. Uh, I've got like a little like funny series. Not funny because it's not that funny. <laughs> on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.